Hello, this is Hussam Hurani again, and today we will talk about very important uh, topic, which is correlations, ranking, and feature statistics. The simple question, if we have a data set, for example, if we have this data set, which is Iris data set, how can we really know which is or which are the most important features in this data set? Which is the most important feature and which uh, uh, of the features are the least important features in this data set? Do, do I have pair of, of columns or attributes or features that are playing a key role in this data set in classification to identify that this for example, flower is stoza or virgi, virgi, virginica or versicolor. This is uh, the question that we will answer uh, uh, today. And uh, Orange Data Mining supports many techniques to let you as data analysts understand your data. And this is a very important lesson for the people who are looking to identify uh, solutions for their problems. First, let me just identify or uh, show you the box plot. The box plot diagram, as you can see here, it consists of this diagram. This is the mean. Uh, this is the standard deviation. Uh, the blue line is the median. We have the interquartile uh, range between 25 to 75%. We have the minimum value and the maximum value. So if we project data in such way, we will start understand exactly the, our data from statistical perspective. Uh, second thing, uh, it's about uh, how the distribution relates to uh, the box plot and uh, and vice versa. Uh, what we will do, uh, for example, in the first one here, if the median less than uh, mean, uh, it's it means that it's left skewed. Uh, if it's uh, the, if the median equal mean, it's symmetric. symmetric. In, in such way and if median greater than mean it it means that it's right uh, skewed uh, in such way and uh, to simplify thing if, if i have symmetric uh, diagram then the distribution will look like this and the box plot will be looking like this exactly okay let me um, simply explain few uh, few things uh, uh, by giving an example on iris data set so uh, in Iris dataset, I'm gonna use this file. I'm gonna use Iris, and this is the target for my dataset. And the first thing I'm gonna show you the uh, data table. So this is the data table. From the data table, we will understand that we have three classes. Uh, we have 150 records, okay? Uh, we have uh, Sibyl length, uh, Sibyl width, uh, Betel length, and Betel width. If I click visualize numbers, it will give me exactly how each number relates to the maximum number. For example, if I click here, I will uh, understand that uh, 2 is the list uh, value uh, and the maximum value are 4.4. So all the values between will have this, this diagram or this, this bar this bar in this symbol uh, width. The same thing goes for the beta length. Uh, and uh, other attributes. So this is the first one. So I start from here, start understanding the maximum value, the minimum value, how they are distributed in classes, etc. So this is the first view, which is the data table. Okay. The second very important view that you need to understand is the feature statistics which is very important. Why? Because it shows per each attribute, it show, uh, show us the distribution, mean, median, uh, dispersion, uh, minimum, maximum value, and if there, are, if, the, if there are any missing values. And from this one, it summarize all ad features for you so you can understand exactly what's happening in your data set. The third one I wanna show you is the box plot which I explained to you. Box plot is one of the very important diagrams. If I choose the beta length, for example, from here, I will understand that in Stoza, 
and store that the better length this is the minimum value this is the maximum value from one to almost two uh, I have median I have uh, mean I have standard deviation I have all the values with me and for the vertical see it, it's a, it's a little bit uh, 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 has been moved from this area to this area and the uh, there are some interference between the vertical and virginica between the minimum values and the maximum values and if, we, if you look at this diagram you will start to understand that there are overlaps here between vertical and virginica and virginica and uh, beta length uh, has this uh, you know diagram the same thing for beta width the same thing for sibyl uh, length and the same thing uh, for the sibyl width but the question which is the most important feature for me which are the most bare of features that i can use this is what we're gonna show you in uh, other techniques now by uh, displaying for you first the distribution let me show you the distribution the distribution is one of them very important you know uh, diagrams because it shows the frequency per each feature and how they if they are overlapped or not which is very important but from here from here for example i can understand that betel uh, betel length is very important for me uh, because it's a little bit isolated from uh, the uh, instosa instosa isolated from vesicular and virginica but to really answer our questions we need to use two things the first one is the rank rank feature uh, widget the rank uh, 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 widget will explain to you exactly the uh, importance of multi uh, values which are the info gain, gain ratio, Gini, ANOVA, X square, relief F, FCBF. So from here, I will understand or I will conclude that beta length are the most important one because it has the higher values the higher values but sibyl width for example has the lowest values so it's it's not as important as the beta length so uh, beta length is very important beta width is very important sibyl uh, uh, length important but it's not as important as beta length and beta width so from here i start understand the relationship between these features that the beta length and beta width and the sibyl length are the key drivers to do classification for my data set then this conclusion is very important for, for me as data scientist or data analyst who is uh, trying to find a solution for a problem so this is the first one which is rank the second uh, uh, widget uh, which is very important is correlation 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 uh, it will allow us to identify peer, uh, peers of, of uh, features, uh, peer wise of features. So if you double click here, you will see that based on the correlation, uh, you will conclude that beta length and beta width are the most important peer of features. Second one is beta length and sibyl, uh, sibyl length. So the first one is the beta length and beta width and the second one is the beta length with sibyl width this is 0 0.93 and this is uh, 0 0.88 percent so this this means that the, the correlation between the beta length and beta width are very important and they play a major role in doing classification for my data set while sibyl length and sibyl width has the least uh, important value to clarify this more and to visualize exactly what I'm talking about, let's connect this to uh, scatter. With the scatter, I'm gonna connect data to data and features to features. Okay, I'm gonna open this one here, and I'm gonna open also the uh, this one. So I will open both windows. So for you to start understand what's going on. So if I click in the beta length and beta width which is the highest ranked uh, correlation you will start to understand that yeah uh, the, the classes are mm, yani most likely separated this is a class the red is a class and the green is a class which is stoza versicolor and virginica 
as you can see we have some classification if you go to the second one you will also see some classification but maybe not as important as the first one because the first one is almost separated here almost but not yet yeah, yani not 100 while this one uh, is uh, we have some overlapping but with this one for example the least one see all the data sets are uh, overlapped so there is no you know uh, yani, uh, separation between the uh, verzi color and the virginica in this in such way so this is the least uh, important relationship and this is the most important relationship uh, uh, for my data set doing this actually is very important because uh, i start visualize my data and i start understand the problem the problem uh, uh, me as data scientist i will look into better length and better width i will look into also better length and simple length i will also look into better length and simple length but i i will not consume my time looking into for example simple length and simple uh, width because uh, they are not separated and they are overlapped and the value for the correlation and the ranked are very very low so this will help me uh, to, I, to to find uh, a, a solution for my problem if i'm looking for example to find a drug for a cancer and i have a very complex data set i will do the correlation and start you know look into the most important features for me uh, so i can uh, identify the right drug for this disease uh, so it's very important for me as a scientist to start looking into the correlation, ranking, distribution, feature statistics for my data so I can understand what is happening with my data. This is the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in uh, the next uh, lesson and enjoy data, uh, orange data mining.